Tonight on Pure Success, this is probably one of the most unbelievable stories that we have got to cover here, and we have had some amazing stories. But when you take a chance on a business, you take a chance on life, when you didn't think that there was any other options that were out there for you, that's who you're gonna meet tonight. A young lady that at the age of 16 was pregnant and ultimately worked her entire time to make sure that she was working several jobs, going to school to take care of a child, but then took a chance, went to a party when even she didn't want to go to that party to be able to look at an op opportunity to be able to own and operate her own business. She didn't know what she was walking into that night, but that night ultimately changed her life. The lady we're talking about is Katie Berry from Australia. We have an unbelievable episode that we're gonna be sharing tonight. Katie has done a fabulous job with $100,000 in sales in 2017, 80 plus thousand dollars in sales so far in 2018. $400,000 team sales in 2017 and approaching almost six to $700,000 this year in 2018. This is a story of unbelievable values, unbelievable support and unbelievable love, uh, both from how the love of the child, of love of herself, a love of her family and the support that she's shared along the way. Please, Make sure that you put your, you know, listening caps on for an unbelievable evening tonight at Pure Success. Let's take a look at Katy Perry. All right, I'm for breakfast. So hi, I'm Katy Berry, and this is my pure romance story. All right, you ready? Yeah, so I was first um, introduced to Pure Romance when I went along to one of my good friend's housewarming parties. I thought it was just a normal housewarming party and then she gave me a call on the way there and said that some lady from Pure Romance was coming along. And I was a little like, oh, okay, what even is that? Eat up, babes. I called my mom. So I remember actually once she came around and she was just like, um, here, would you like to try the bosom buddy? And I even said no to her. I was like, oh no, I'm okay. I was very shy when I first got started and when I first saw everything, I just was, it was so new. I didn't know what to expect. Um, so I was that person at the party that wouldn't even try bosom buddy, let alone have a look at anything else. Triangles or squares? Triangles. Triangles. Um, I didn't even go into the ordering room. I was just too scared. It was with a new group of people as well. Um, and yeah, so I just kind of sat back, watched a lot. My good friend that um, it was her housewarming party, she signed up on the night. Um, and I watched her for about two months doing Pure Romance. I watched her succeed, very, like do very, very well with it. Um, and then I thought, you know, I might get this a go. This could work for me and my family and where I'm at right now. decided after watching my friend Jade do it for quite a while, I said, well, can I have a party? I want to see if this works for me. Um, and she came along to my house, we had a party, and she said, I think you can do this. And I, I, I believed her, I, I believed that this was for me. I, I realized that with my life that I was living at that moment, you know, I was studying full time, I was working part time at a cafe, and I was being a mum, a single mum at that time. I just, I needed something for me, but I also was, time poor and I wanted something that was going to give me more time to study, give me more time with my family. Um, so after chatting with the consultant, I said to her, I said, look, I think this is for me. I, as long as I can find the money to get started, as a lot of people have issues with money when they first get started. I sat my mum down, I sat um, my stepdad down and I showed them the comp plan. I explained the benefits of it and I, I told them I was committed. I was ready to give this a go and um, make it work for me and my family and give my family a little bit of extra income to live. Because you know, you've got your job and that was paying the bills and everything like that and I was breaking even but I wasn't living. I wasn't enjoying my experience with my daughter. I wasn't having fun, you know, taking her to do the things she wanted to do, to swimming lessons, to dance, whatever it may be. I wasn't able to give her the extras in life and so that's why I thought I'd get started and give it a go. Best for babe. Good girl. When I first got started, I was actually 18. Um, I had a one and a half year old um, daughter. So I actually um, had just moved out of home to my first ever rental. And as fun and exciting as that was, it was definitely a reality check. Um, living in a, um, you know, a new home with my very young daughter, being very young myself, it was a lot, you know, it was a lot to take on. I was 16 when I first fell pregnant with my daughter. Um, 
which was a very big shock for me, my family, my world, everything. Um, but it was the best, best thing that ever happened to me. I feel like because I was such a young mum, I grew with her. She grew with me. I learned so much very quickly. Um, and I was able to, you know, focus on what needed to be focused on. You know, when you're in high school and things like that, you can sometimes get pulled different ways and lose your focus. As soon as I fell pregnant, as soon as I knew that I had something to live for, I had something that I needed to provide for, it pushed me to be the best I possibly could be for her. I had a pretty hard pregnancy. Um, I was very unwell. Um, I think it was also to do with the fact that I was quite young and my body probably wasn't ready to birth a child, um, but I really struggled so I wasn't able to eat and I wasn't hospitalised for a lot of it, but um, I pushed through and, and we'll, I'm very lucky. She's my miracle to be here, you know. We've had a lot of medical issues with um, Ava and, you know, she's quite small and petite um, for her age, but do you know what? She makes up with it for, with her personality. <laughs> She's definitely, yeah, a bundle of joy. <laughs> She's very loud and exciting and a little mini me. <laughs> go, go, go! So my biggest supporter would definitely be my mum. You know, she has supported me not just um, in my business, in my parents' business, but, you know, with Ava and especially when I first came home and told her, you know, I'm, I'm pregnant, you know, that's a big shock for a mum. That's scary, very scary for her. And, you know, it took tw about 20 minutes of her being like, what? <laughs> for her to be like, okay, I'm here for you and I'm, I'm, I'm there for you. And that meant so much. And it, ever since she's always just been my number one supporter, you know, support with Ava, support with um, helping me make sure I'm getting out there with my business, um, emotional support. She's just been amazing. Definitely um, to her, she's just been awesome. <laughs> At 21, I was able to purchase this home. It just fills me with joy. Every single day I walk out into this lounge room, into this living space, and I'm just, I just, it, it's unreal. It doesn't feel real to be able to do it. It's just, it's just remarkable. I mean, when I look around, I did not expect that I would ever be able to do that. Uh, you know, at 21, especially being a single mum, um, especially being a business owner, you know, the banks, that's a risk. So to be able to do that, it's just, it's awesome. I've just, I just feel very, it's, it's been my goal since I was very young to own my own home. I mean, I was studying architecture. I love houses. I love, you know, and anything to do with homes and houses. So to be able to have my own at this age and with my daughter, it, it's just, the biggest goal I could ever have wanted. Sweet! This is like a sweet lollipop. Mm. Let's go, Papa. Pure Romance has given me the opportunity to be a stay-at-home mum while still working. I know that contradicts one another, but it is. It's true. Every single morning, I get to walk my daughter to school. I get to take her into her class. I get to sit with her until the bell goes and, you know, work through puzzles and things like that. I get to spend that time with her. I don't miss out on that. And as I say at every single party is when I'm here, it's 7 o'clock at night, 7.30 at night that I'm partying with them. My daughter is sleeping. I'm missing out on her snoring and that is it. I, I, you know, I get every moment with her and I haven't missed a moment with her because of this. You know, because of pure romance, I love it. It is awesome. The flexibility is just incredible. How great has the flexibility been with this job? I mean, with pure romance uh, in your life? Well, flexibility has been incredible, especially being a mum. Uh, that is the most important thing, being able to go s see my daughter's sports or go take her to ballet or just walking her to school. It's so simple, but it's such an enjoyable moment for both of us. And because I work nights when she's sleeping, the flexibility is amazing. Um, also, it means that I can go on holidays without having to say, hey, can I have the day off or things like that, you know. Um, and if my daughter's sick, there's no boss telling me and giving me guilt trip for being a mum and being there for my daughter. So we take a day and I enjoy those days. It gets We get to cuddle, we get to spend time together. So flexibility, that's the point of this. It's a lifestyle business and that's what made me fall in love with it in the first place. I don't want to miss 
a single moment. I don't want to miss a first step. I mean, I know we're past that point now, yeah. but um, I don't miss a tantrum. <laughs> but whatever it may be, I don't want to miss that. So that's why the flexibility in this business is so important to me. Why Why is that? You know, you hear a lot of moms that talk about this. Why is that so important to you as as, as a mom, not to, to, to be there for everything and to make sure you're there? You know, how, how why, why is that so important? Is that something for your childhood? Is that something that you just hold dear to yourself? Well, because... Um, time is short and I swear I blinked and she was one, you know, and now she's almost six. We're coming up to her sixth birthday. So I don't want to miss a moment. You know, I want to spend time with her and have that special time and yeah, just enjoy life and yeah, go from there. I love it. I think it's awesome. So I always like to take people back to kind of the, you know, kind of paint a picture for me, right? So paint a picture, 18 years of age, you know, you're you're sitting there and uh, you're trying to fit pure romance into life. You have a you're you're taking care of you know a brand new you know you know child into this world. Your world's kind of like going all kinds of different directions. Take me back there. Paint me that picture. What was it like? Well, when I first got started or first heard about pure romance and wanted to do it, um, I was had just moved out to my first ever rental and it was tough. I couldn't put my daughter in dance lessons because I couldn't afford it. And, you know, I um, I was making the bare minimum. I was able to pay my bills. I was able to pay my for the food and it was limited. Like it was just, you know, your meals and that's it. No special snacks, no anything like that. Um, and I just didn't want to live like that. I thought that there was so much more to life than just living the bare minimum. Um, and my house was, you know, I'm not fully furnished because I couldn't get it. You know, I, my office space, I remember when I first started with Pure Romance was my spare room and I just had a box here, a box there and a box there and that was it. <laughs> so, you know, I worked on my dining table and it worked for until I, you know, started to build myself up enough to be able to get my desk and set my office up and now set my home up. So it's just kind of come leaps and bounds. But from back then, very, very different lifestyle to now. Very different. You know, I think about you when I, I, I often tell people, here's this young lady, I meet her. You're sitting front row at a national training event. I'm, I'm there in Australia. And you're just, you gleam of happiness and your smile is contagious. You know, why? What, what you know, you, you could have been throwing all these, you've been throwing a lot of like, you know, things in life where a lot of people would say, gosh, this is my life's terrible, my life's whatever. Why even back, you know, three or four years ago when you're first starting out in the business, what, 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 what's that smile? Why, why are you so happy about what you have with Pure Romance? It's, I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. As soon as I walk into one of those training rooms, it is just, it literally lifts every spirit in my body and the people around me. And I want to be at the front because I want to sit there and I want to take notes and I want to learn. And it's just, you say my smile is contagious. Your energy is contagious. I sit there and I'm just so excited to learn, taking the information. It's gold. The information that you give to us is just absolutely gold. I'm sitting there and my hand is hurting. You're hurting my hand trying to write all these notes down, but it's, it's worth it. Every single training, whether it be your training, or even I remember the first ever training I went to, um, which was in Auburn Grove, and it was a small little group, and I literally like beamed in there. I was so excited to just be surrounded by like-minded people, and you know, it's just good to have that positive energy. And um, I learned a lot about positivity and lifestyle through this business, and you know, your affirmations and things like that. And since I started putting that into my everyday life, you know, it's just made me an even more positive person, and just. You want to, you have one life and you can choose to take it in a yep. negative way, but you can take it in a positive way. And, you know, every day I just want to make it the best day possible. Well, it's so funny. I have a, you know, like, uh, I didn't come up with this, but I have a saying that energy creates energy, right? Like, it is, it is, I watch you. There's a bunch of people in my life that I watch and, and say they've just, they're just full of energy. They're full of life and they're full of zest. And, you know, they're full of the unheard of, right, in life. And, you know, I sit back and, and a lot of people, when they think of a 21 year old uh, going in the United States or probably, you know, anywhere for that matter, buying a $300,000 home, buying a house and, and, and taking care of, you know, the family on, the, uh, on their own, it's, it's unheard of. I mean, like, What's that like to you to to be able to have the place? And I saw some footage of the place. And I'm like, wow, it's amazing. Oh, I, I'm very proud. I'm very. I feel very special to you know 
just have this and be able to every day walk home and walk in that door and it's just very exciting because this has been a goal for me you know since I was very young to just own my own home and to be to be here to be able to walk in but now to even be able to renovate it it's just it makes me feel so special inside so blessed so lucky and honestly it's all down to this because I didn't have you know two cents to scrape together before it so well, I think we and all of viewers want to see the house and see some of the some of how you work your personal and professional and some behaviors that are going on inside of your home. So let's take a look as we get into the second episode of Katie Berry and her pure success. Hi, come on in. So I'll give you guys a tour. Come on in, this here is the library. Um, so this is mainly for my daughter, she loves to read. Um, when I first moved in, the previous owner actually used this as an office, but because my business is uh, in-home business, I wanted my office to be in a bigger space. So what to do in this room? And because my daughter loves to read, we decided with the library. Um, so this actually, this room went further and we've actually built out a false wall um, and put in the shelves. So I actually do it with my um, brother-in-law um, and he's got a carpentry business. So he helped make this um, and create it, which is just awesome and Ava loves it. You've come on a clean day, but usually the whole entire room is just covered with books everywhere you could look. She would just be sitting in the middle of it reading all of them. So yeah, it's a really great space and I've got my new um, books from you, know, you, you Are a Badass and um, Be a Direct Selling Superstar. So I also get in here and have a read as well. So these are the books that um, I used to read when I was a kid, actually. Um, so we would go into all the little antique stores and try and find them. It's just about a little doll who was really naughty and I just used to, I was obsessed with them. So I started collecting them. So you can even see by the looks of the papers how old it is. So this is um, from the Eureka Sky Deck, and this is actually from my first ever um, incentive trip with Pure Romance. We went to Melbourne for Melbourne Cup, and all of us girls got to the top of this um, and looked down, and it was just an incredible experience. I've kept it um, to remind myself that I can reach anything. I remember when that incentive was first you know, given out to us and I thought, oh my gosh, there's no way. Um, but I put my mind to it, I set some goals, I made them achievable, uh, small goals, broke it all down and I got there. So I keep that to remind myself that no matter what, I can do it. So this is the sky deck here and this is the actual, um, the glass room. So you walk out into the glass room and it's all blacked out. So you can't actually tell that you are standing on clear glass. Um, it counts you down um, and then everything goes clear and you can see everywhere, down, around, everything. You can see the whole of Melbourne, which is just, it was really unreal especially because I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> so this is my room. It was actually the first room that we did up when we moved in. Um, so yeah, I'm actually wanting to put in doors instead of the window um, and then close off that area um, and then have like a little parents retreat out there. Got a walk-in robe and I got my ensuite as well, um, which was being freshly painted. So you've got my brother there on the left um, and then my sister on the right. So we're just all having a bath together when we were kids. <laughs> so this is the main living space. Um, so I'm still renovating. So you can see there's some fresh plaster and whatnot. Um, but we've got the kitchen and the dining area. And then you've got your lounge room as well over here. All right, so this is my favorite part. Come out to my garden. It's super, super relaxing. So I love just being out here, chill out, um, have a bit of time to just debrief have a bit of a think, you know, um, but I also love entertaining out here as well. So this here is my office, so come on in. So you've got your stock, over, my stock over here, the new kits. So I've got all my beauty line products and then you're getting into your more wild version products down the bottom and then your toys right at the bottom as well. Okay, I've got my um, awards from National Convention and also from my team leader as well. Um, then we've got the boards. This is from Brian Byro's classes. So the, my first board breaking um, and then my most recent one where I was actually able to hold boards, which was just incredible, life changing. Um, and then I've also got this. So I use this for follow up. I learned a lot of my follow up from Brooke Gardner. She is incredible. Um, so I just created a sheet. Um, and so you're able to um, 
what she ordered, if she was interested in having a party or if she had a party, if she's interested in signing up, the mobile number and then if I've uh, spoken to them within 24 hours and then the eight week checkup and then six months and then a year and any kind of information that I'd need as well um, and some notes down the bottom. And then what I would do is say if this party was um, at, on a certain date and the next time I need to catch up with them would be six months, I would go to the six month mark, place it back in and then at the start of a month, so say the start of April, I'll pull this out and I'll go through each one and you'll just check exactly what follow-up message I need to send them. So this is my desk. So every morning I try and come in here and even if like sometimes I'll be lost, I guess, for what I'm supposed to be doing that day, I will just sit down and it will like, it will start to come with me ideas, inspiration, all sorts of different things, whether it be social media posts or hostess coaching. Um, I just come in here and sit down and if I do that, I'm able to get into the flow of it. When I come into my office, I don't really necessarily have a schedule, a bit of a squiggle like that. Um, it's just, I often just get inspired or excited or someone will message me something and I'll be like, okay, I'm going to get in my office and I'm going to work. And I, and I just go from there. So um, yeah, it's just something that just comes to me. I don't think of pure romance as a job as such. It's a, ho it's, it's, it's a hobby, you know, it's something I enjoy. I love it. And so therefore, you know, coming in here, whenever I get excited, it just, it just flows and it keeps on going. This is a little bit of a um, <laughs> obscure method, but um, this is pretty much pegs from your clothesline. Um, and what I use them as is I put the consultant's name on each and every single one of them. Uh, it's just a really great way to kind of keep track of them when I'm going through the motions of maybe the first of the month messages or are they coming to training or are they coming to a convention because I was finding like I had spoken to them but it got lost in our conversation and so therefore I'm like did she say yes did she say yes she was coming along or did she say that or so what I was doing was um, I'd have all of my consultants and I would put them at the top or put them to the side um, and for the first of the month I'd give them a call and they'd say hey um, Taylor, uh, it is the first of the month. Did you end the month of um, February feeling successful? If you did, let me know because I'd love to celebrate with you. Um, and if you didn't feel successful, then let's brainstorm and have a call so you can feel successful for the month of March. Um, and then if they felt successful, they went on this side. And if they felt not successful, they went on that side. Um, and then therefore throughout the month, I know who I need to be working harder with so that they end the month of March feeling better um, and who is rocking it out. and. Um, I need to check in with on a different scale. It's just a physical thing that I was able to then hold on to and keep a track of everybody and what's going on. And so then it'd be convention and I'd have a list for who's coming to convention and you can adapt it so that you don't forget people's birthdays. I mean, as well. So like you could get your birthday charts that you use in school and put Alicia on March and, you know, Joe on January or whatever it may be. And then you know who you need to reach out to that month and say happy birthday to. It's just a method that I was working with that just meant it was real and, in, and tangible and in front of me. Cancellations, they're gonna come no matter what. Um, I always try and change my cancellations into reschedules and always um, you know, stay in contact with my hostess and making sure that we are rescheduling and she's still pumped for a party, finding out exactly why she's wanting to cancel or reschedule. Um, so chatting to her and understanding maybe it's because of um, not enough guests or maybe something actually personally has happened. So if it's something personal that's happened, reschedule, easy. Um, if it's a guest issue or something like that, I've got to be working harder with her. I've got to be working um, and, and, and look at myself and look at what I'm doing um, in my business and my hostess coaching to make sure that she is getting the attendance she should be having. It, it definitely makes me proud. It makes me proud to be in here. It makes me proud to say this is mine um, and, and give Pure Romance the space that it deserves. You know, I didn't want to put it into a small room. I wanted it to be come into my office. A lot of my customer base actually want to pick up products or come by and have a chat about parties or come and have a chat about becoming a consultant. And so I really wanted to create an actual office space you know like so I want to get some couches and some a, a, an area where I can have those interviews and, and chats with people and um, yeah I just wanted it to be a really beautiful place that I can go and feel 
good, feel motivi motivated, feel inspired. All right, Katie, you know, it's so great to uh, to see people that, that are living kind of what I consider their best life. Some people, you know, would be kind of skeptical of that, but the last four years, you've been kind of living uh, your, your best version of, of yourself, would you say? Most definitely. I don't, I don't think it's believable. I mean, I take a step back every now and again and say, wow, is this the life I live? People are, people are jealous of it. It's amazing. You know, the flexibility, the travel, and to own my own home, it's just... It's very incredible. I'm very lucky. So what do your friends say? I mean, they're all, you know, 20s and things like that. They're probably, you know, uh, starting their, you know, maybe not even starting their career, maybe even starting into their, a part, you know, like a, a, maybe a journey of a, a mentorship or, a, you know, internship. I mean, and here you are amongst all your friends. What, what do they have to say when they, when they look at you? They, they say that they feel inspired to um, push harder, um, to, you know, have their own home and, and, you know, pursue their dreams, whatever that may be, but but hit those goals and live that similar lifestyle as well. And I say, join Pure Roommates. <laughs> yeah. Now, can I ask a question? Being 21, you know, uh, people always ask me when I start working here at 25, you know, do I have any, you know, do I have any regrets? Do I have any, you know, th things that I wish I would have done differently? And, you know, I always say that, you know, I remember when I was 25 and all my buddies are going out to the clubs and they're going out and, you know, taking these, you know, great things. And I felt, I felt like I was a missing a piece of that, but come to find out they just, I was just on an earlier path than they were. Um, yeah. you know, cause now they're all kind of getting into their career now at 40 and I'm yeah. on the kind of, I'm not in the end of my career, but I'm in the prime of my career and they're just kind of starting yeah. do you see that kind of in your in your life being so young and 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 having such success i i definitely do um I, a lot of the people surrounding me and surrounding my age group um they all are into the exact same thing you know going out and you know getting on like drinking and stuff like that which you know i do that definitely on my free trips as well thank <laughs> you chris <laughs> but you know what i mean like there's just there's a choice and um, I really wanted this to work and it meant I could still go out, especially given the parties finish, you know, 10 p.m., 11 p.m., I could still go and enjoy myself um, and I definitely do, but it is a choice and you choose to put what you want first and your priorities and my priority was this, so. Yeah, and your, yeah. I, I think your priority was that you wanted to take care of Ava. You, that, was a, that was a big priority, you know, a big Definitely. priority of being successful for her. I, I, I see that come across every time I see you at, at, at something is you, you're, you're a student of your craft. Um, here's, you know, I, I kind of, like I started the show, it's like when you didn't think you had options, then this option is in front of you and you yeah. just immerse yourself and you run with it. And I think it, yeah. I think that shows a lot of character. I think it shows a lot of determination. I think, you know, people watching here tonight probably are saying the same thing here, you know, in that mental capacity, did you just kind of throw yourself all in and just go with it? Yeah. Well, I literally stumbled across this. I was, like I said, you know, I was sitting there and Bosom Buddy came around and I was like, no, thank you. You know, I was so nervous to try it. I wasn't ready. I wasn't going out looking for it. Nothing like that. You know, I was just you know, going to a friend's party and it stumbled across me and then I just ran with it. And there was, there's no other way, you know, if you want this business to go crazy, you've got to be consistent with it and you've got to take it, take it with both hands and run with it. Um, because if you do, it's, it's incredibly beneficial for you and your life and your family and everything in between. Honestly, I, I'm so glad that I did, you know, sit down and, and spend some significant hours meeting people or calling people or sending out messages or making up posts, whatever it may have been, those core times where I, I sat down and I put that bit of effort instead of going and seeing my friends or instead of going for a drink at the pub or watching my favorite TV show, I sat myself down and said, I'm not moving until I get at least four, just four. And if you did that and you consistently did that, and that is the key, consistency, then it rewards you later on and it can just flows then and it becomes easier and it becomes just a part, just like riding a bike. You just know how to do it now. Well, another thing you're consistent at is your follow-up. It's simple, it's easy, but you know, we always say the fortunes of the follow-up and your follow-up system, why, why is it so simple? Why is it so easy? Why are you, why are you succeeding with this at all, at, at all turns? 
Well, that has to come back to training. So I actually learned this technique from Brooke, um, who's one of our top leaders as well in Australia. And she taught me at a leadership retreat and I ran with it. I had nothing before then. And so as soon as she gave me this, I was like, brilliant, gold. I need to make this as simple as possible because I'm a squiggle and I'm all over the place. Um, So I needed to make it easy so that I can do it. Um, I can get girls on the phone. I can contact people and keep and not be a one night stand. You know, I wanted to make sure that I was making my customers feel special for shopping with me. Yeah. Well, I know one other group you make feel special is your team. You're constantly checking in. Is this true that you really are checking in with them to see how they're feeling each month? I mean, like you go through that. What that can I tell you? I think is an awesome trait. But what made you think about doing that? What was your reasoning behind it? Again, training. I, so I learned that um, at with um, from Christina Heil, um, and she came over again for that leaders retreat. I learned so much on there, um, and she told me that you know you should always be making sure you're connecting with those women um, and reaching out to them. So that was the method I started, and um, it just flowed from there. I, I just always want to be able to help them, whether it be you know everyone every month new things happen, life happens and roadblocks become there. You know, you'll have someone who's kicking ass and then suddenly something happens in their personal life and they kind of take a steer to the right. And if you're not there ready to be like, Hey, awesome. Completely understand. Let's talk through it and let's readjust you back this way. You could lose them. And then that could be someone who had the potential to be a board member, to do a hundred thousand dollars in sales. And you don't want that. You want to make sure that you're always connecting with those girls. Well, let's take a look at those girls, those elite diamonds. They're 70 of them, they're rocking it out, and you make them feel amazing. So let's take a look at part three of Katy Berry, Pure Success. So my team is the Elite Diamonds, um, an awesome, awesome group of women. Um, So we're about 60 to 70 women at the moment, which is pretty cool. girls come we have meet and eat to get started so that's just 30 minutes everyone brings a plate and we're just mingling chatting about the month prior how things are going you know um, our goals we're just regrouping coming together and creating that bond okay so welcome everyone to team diamonds march team training (laughs) growing a team was um probably the most rewarding experience i've ever um you know, experienced. So um, when I shared the opportunity with people, I was able to then have people who were motivating me, I was motivating them. It was just like this addictive cycle that just kept on going and kept pushing one another up. For those who do not know me, my name is Katie Berry. Um, I've been in business for three years. My reason for doing Pure Romance is my gorgeous daughter, Ava. Um, So to provide for her, I am a single mum. So to be able to give her a home and everything like that is just, absolutely amazing. Um, So it was just great for motivation, inspiration. When you're working alongside someone, it's so much easier. You bounce ideas off each other um, and you just, you grow at a a very significant rapid, rapid growth. It's just awesome. We're going to start off with our icebreaker game. Okay, work on a team building activity and then we're going to go through the motions of book, sell, share and then repeat. One thing I've, I've really learned when sharing the opportunity is that, and, and building a team, is that you need to do it from the get go right from the day that they first come into your business. You wanna be teaching them about that, but you wanna be saying to them, they're new, they're excited. Is there someone else that you would wanna do this alongside with you? If you guys want positive results in your business, you have to do the actions and change it up and get out of your comfort zone so you are able to live a different life. So I went to my friend's launch party and Katie was doing my friend's launch party for her and um, Katie didn't get my contact details at all. I chased Katie down because I wanted to do this and I knew that night and I chased Katie down for it. She didn't have to ask me at all. I remember the first time I spoke to Katie was actually over Facebook just before a team meeting and I hadn't been to a team meeting before at all. Um, It was one of the Diamonds team meetings and she said, hey, come along, you've actually got a certificate. Um, And it, it changed my life because I actually learned so much more now knowing what training's held and the value that training's held. Um, I've actually seen a post on Katie's Facebook page about spending $1,000 at Peter Alexander. And I was like, damn, I want to spend $1,000 on pajamas. Um, So I booked a party with her and I signed that night. By sharing that opportunity and and creating it as a part of a culture, 
that it should be something that's just given and it is a gift pure romance is a huge gift when you think of what it's done for myself or what it's done for so many of my sister consultants it is an incredible gift that we've been able to be given to us and if we withhold from giving that then we are doing a disservice to those people so as soon as someone comes into that ordering room or you meet them in the street or you have coffee with them you share that opportunity with them you share that gift with them so that they can live the best life that they possibly can have as well so when we're trying to book parties the one thing you're going to want to do is not just say hey i have 30 free dates because then they're going to say what i'll get back to you yeah. all right so you're going to give them three dates okay fake it till you make it katie is an amazing leader she's very very inspiring um, and she tries to make a personal like connect with us rather than just being really business she she has our best interests at heart it's all great we want to book 10 parties right how do we do that how do we book those parties ring, ring get on the phone awesome katie's a very positive and bubbly leader um, she's always very motivating um, you can't you can't be unmotivated around her she, she just pushes you to do your best. How easy would it be if you walked into a room and they came to you and they were asking you, what's self-made? Why is that on your shirt? The conversation is already made for you. I love my team completely, um, but one of the main things that I love about my team is the support and the empowerment. You know, the, the women around me, they're all just so motivated. Um, and that is, that is, like I said, it's addictive to have that around you, to have that support, that empowerment, to just feel, it's just, it's, over, it's overpowering how awesome the feeling is. When you walk into that room, there is women around you who just, they're like-minded women who just want to succeed. They want to do well for their families, for their, for whatever it may be, for themselves. They want to live the best life that they possibly can. And to have that energy, to have that support around you is just awesome. They are a really, really great group of women. I'm very proud to have them. Who went to national convention? Hands up. Yes, awesome. Oh, national convention, any training in particular, but national convention is our biggest event in Australia and New Zealand. So our girls go crazy over it. It is time with Chris, it's time with the US trainers, and this, time, this year it's been time with motivational speakers who have pushed us to even higher heights. Every single one of you do not leave this event without at least deciding this is what I want to achieve in life. There'll be one breakthrough. It will be the same one for everyone in this room because there is only one breakthrough. You break through from fear to love. One, two, three. You have constantly went out there to grow your businesses, both from a sponsor perspective, from a group sales perspective, sales, and also from a presence club, our prestige positions inside of Pure Romance. So, are you guys ready to get this thing underway for 2017, Mort? In our senior director level with $439,708, Miss Kate. Barry! <laughs> Great job, kiddo. Great job. Super proud of you. You know, it is absolutely incredible. Everyone that gets around the National Convention that comes along, like I said, it is just that energy. It is that positivity. Everyone is like-minded. They all want the same thing. They're all dedicated to their business, which is just, yeah, we just get super excited about it. We just, yeah, it's, it's awesome. The women that want to be there, they want to grow their business, they want to make this work, and they do. And it's just, it's awesome. I keep saying awesome, but it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I signed up when I was 18, okay? So I was very, I was very fresh, okay? Very young. Um, I feel like I've grown with Pure Romance. I've learned so much. Um, and travel was one of them. I didn't even know that I wanted to travel. I mean, you see people and they're like, travel, 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 and I'm like, yeah, okay, cool, I'll do that. I don't mind traveling. Um, but it wasn't until I, I started up with Pure Romance and I started to earn these free trips where I was like, wow, I'm becoming addicted to this. 
I'm becoming addicted to traveling around the world and, and learning new places and meeting new people and especially food, learning about new food and definitely Pure Remits has opened me up to that, you know, trying new, um, trying new things as well. It's just, it's been a whirlwind. I've actually been able to learn about culture. I've been able to learn about the world. I've been able to learn about food and different things that I didn't even realize I was missing until I had started this. And then it becomes addictive. And then you're like, I want to be on every single trip that they have because they don't do trips like your holiday trips. They do trips like five star kind of trips. And it's just, it's a different world. It's a different world and I don't want to ever not be a part of it. So, I mean, I've been to, um, so within Australia, I've been to Melbourne, Brisbane. Um, I went to, we, we had our trip to Bali for our leaders retreat. It took me to Cincinnati. So I've spent some time in America. It took me to Paris. Um, to Fiji, I went to and did the west side of America as well. So I did California, Nevada, um, Arizona. It was just, I feel like I've been able to explore so much. You know, if I, I would have, um, this year, I would have graduated from my architecture and I would not have done any of the things that I have been able to do. I would not have been able to travel. I would not have been able to purchase this home. I would not have been able to spend as much time as I have with my daughter and have the connection and the friendship that we do. Um, I would never have had that. Pick one that you'd like to read. My hope for my daughter is just to live a good life, you know, to, to I want her to be surrounded by love. And he eated it from and, spitting it. A dino size piece of cake. Mm. To have an That's awesome cool. time, to spend quality time with me and my family and just to, I just want her to be happy. I want her to be happy. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Pure Romance has given me my life and the life I deserve, but I never knew that I deserved it until I found it. Um, it has given me travel, it's given me time with my daughter, it's given me my home, it's given me purpose, it's given me motivation. I feel like I am a better version of me because of the things that Pure Romance does, the things that Pure, Pure Romance says to me. The, you know, the, the things that they do for me, it's made me the best version of myself. All right, we're back with Katie Berry. Katie, the team segment. I, I, I love one of the things. You said to your team, you need to step outside your comfort, comfort zone and live, uh, live comfortably, you know, and, and, and that's kind of the, what we talk about all the time. It's like, you gotta, to live comfortable, you gotta be uncomfortable, right? And, and so, you know, uh, I, I look at the lifestyle that you live now, it's a little bit more comfortable, but yes, you've, you've lived that, haven't you, that uncomfortable lifestyle. Why do you say that to your team so much? Well, because um, a lot of women may be sitting at home and they might be like, I'm not getting parties or I'm not getting this or I'm not getting those leads. Um, but are they making themselves feel that little bit uncomfortable, you know, that anxious feeling or, um, you know, maybe not watching their favorite show for the night and actually going and meeting someone or, you know, reaching out to old clients or getting on the phone and calling people that you could have a connection with, that you could ask for a party or maybe even to join this opportunity. You have to live uncomfortable to get that comfortable lifestyle. Um, if you want to be earning the big money in this company, um, or you want just want a party and you want to earn a bit of extra cash, you've got to get up. You've got yeah. to get up, get out, and do something about it. And for so many people, that is uncomfortable because it's so much easier to live inside their box. And, and, and to get outside the box is, is scary and it, it tests you. But do you know what? Far out the world is better outside of the box. So, yeah. You know, I think about you as a, as a leader today. 
uh, leading uh, a group of 70, you know, elite diamonds. Here, here they are. They're following you. Um, I think of you as an unbelievable mother uh, that is sacrificed so much for her child um, to give the child a better lifestyle. Um, what do you think that when 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 Ava grows up, what do you, how are you? You, how will she know? What, what, what do you, what do you, what do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as, as this hardworking individual, or do you see this person that, I mean, how do you see yourself each and every day? Well, coming back to Ava, I'm teaching her that if you want something, you have to go hard for it. I'm teaching her work ethic. I'm teaching her that no matter what you push forward, no matter how many no's you get, no matter how many, you know, things happen to you, no matter what life deals you you go forward and you make you make the choice to live that better life. So that's in my eyes. I feel like I, I work hard in that way and I, I feel like I'm teaching her good work ethic and to be um, focused on what she wants and do anything in her power to make sure she gets it and works hard to, to get it. So I feel like I'm teaching her good values in that. Do you think, do you think Katie Berry works really hard? <laughs> um, yes and no. <laughs> Oh. I live, like I said, it's a lifestyle. I work very hard, um, but for minimal hours in comparison to someone who works full-time jobs. So that's a trick question. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Uh, would you say that you're? Would you say you're dedicated to your team, dedicated to your customers? Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah, and dedicate, oh. you know, to to being the best mom. I mean, I, I I'm just always so proud because I know even when you're traveling, you're on events, you're doing different things. Yeah, you, you want to have fun, but you also are like, I can't wait to get home and I can't wait to squeeze her. I can't wait to see her. I've seen so much footage of you, like, you know, when you see her, you're getting ready to come home. What's it like when you're coming off a trip and you see her run up to you and give you this big hug, you know, and it just, you just know it's just you and her and it's like you guys are against the world. Yeah, well, it, it's exactly that. She's my little teammate, you know, and it is just me and her. For so long, you know, I've been a single mom and so, it was me and her. We what we wanted to make it happen, and that was a promise I gave to her was to make to build her this to get her this house, and I've come to that. You know that's happened, and and the video you're talking about after I was away for so long and I came home and she ran towards me far out. The feeling was just over over joy and just oh my god, it was just amazing. It gives me shivers right now just thinking about it. I just missed her so much, and you know it feels like another person's apart from you. So when you come together. It's just like, you know, this is what it's all about. This is my reason why, and this is this is why I do what I do, yeah. to make sure she's happy and she's got everything that she needs. So, yeah. Well, I, I could tell you you've got a good partner. So, you know, she's yeah, got do. a good partner too, you know. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it, it is. It's kind of cool to see what, you know, what is in store and what's next. And if you had to sit back and write this journey, this journey of, your, you know, where you've been from the age of 16, you know, being pregnant, 17, having the child, you know, 18, joining an organization, 21, buying your new home. You know, what's next for Katie Berry? Oh, my gosh. The sky's the limit, right? Um, no, I really want to – I love that I'm always traveling with this company. So I like to travel the world, um, obviously, and, you know, learn and see culture and things like that. But otherwise, you know, I just want to be building my home with my, my family and, um, and, you know, making this as homely and, and our space as possible. And, and with business, it's just keep going. No matter what, the, the sky's the limit. I'm just going to keep going. The more you throw at me, the more I'm going to do. So bring it on. Well, what, you know, this has been an amazing story, amazing journey to be able to, to do. Um, is there anything you want to say to anybody out there, your team, family, friends, anybody that has um, this is your time to kind of giving you your shout outs or anything else like that you want to do? Um, I do want to say a huge, incredible thank you to my family because um, as I own, am a single mum, they help me out with Ava when I have parties. So a huge thank you to you guys. Um, and an even bigger thank you to my team. You guys are amazing and you keep rocking it and we're just going to keep growing and being bigger and better. So I'm just so proud of all of your achievements already and I just cannot wait to take you and us. We're going to the top, guys. Woo! <laughs> Well, I can tell you right now, uh, the, the staff and, and uh, you know, Greg and everybody that has been part of this pure success, uh, we love how contagious your energy is. We love the smile. We love the positivity. Uh, you definitely embody pure romance from the Empower, Educate, Entertain, 
and uh, we appreciate everything that uh, that you continue to do for the organization, for your team, and for everybody else across the world, and, and keep inspiring. And more than anything, um, I think your daughter is going to be very, very uh, proud to one day she gets to see how hard that you've worked um, for her and didn't give up, didn't make excuses, and uh, found the best version of you possible. So this is Katie Berry, Pure Success. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. We really, really appreciate it. Katie, all the way from Australia, good night. Ah!